For me, being myself is just being creative. Some things that I like to do are makeup, hair, and advocating for the LGBTQ community. My name is CJ and I am 12 years old. CJ, growing up, he was always creative, always like entertaining. The first one to two years of his life, he didn't seem to like anything, like blocks and trucks and balls. He didn't like any of those toys, so we just figured, well, he'll find something eventually. My earliest memories were, I think, finding a Barbie in my mom's room, which that kind of sparked my whole adventure in being gender creative. I've always been interested in more of the skirts, dresses, and more of the more feminine clothes. CJ's gender identity is male, whose gender expression is female. So that makes him gender non-conforming. He likes being a boy. He, you know, is happy with his boy body, but he always says, like, I like being a boy. I just like girl things. Let's try this one. You like a little bit of shimmer? Well, we need a highlight brush. That's when I started a blog about raising a little boy like CJ, a little boy who at the time, all I knew what to call, I just said he was a girl at heart. Ooh, love that. We're going for like a monochromatic peachy look today. Yeah. I like all the trends for makeup. Concealer, bronzer, highlighter, obviously. I find it as an art form, and I've always been interested in painting and art. For Halloween, CJ was a Sephora employee. <laughs> As parents, you can create a safe, loving environment in your home, but your kids, you can't protect them at all times. You can't defend them at all times. When I was in fifth grade, I had a group of friends that turned on me, talking behind my back, and then cold shoulder, and then they just started bullying me. So at one point, he was crying and he was at school and he said, I'm just not gonna come to school tomorrow. And one of the girls said, good, no one would notice if you were gone. If you were gone forever, no one would notice. It wouldn't matter. And so that was, that was a really hard day. So we took him to Pride in Orange County. He loved it. It was like his best day ever. And I took a picture of him at Pride and nothing really happened until a few weeks later, it was on different television news shows. People were talking about how James Woods had come out and attacked this young child. It was scary. It was scary for our family. We were concerned about our son. I didn't feel happy with what was happening and I didn't feel happy with myself. And I was just down all the time. So it was really hard to go to school during everything. Less than a year later, we got a call from OC Pride and, and they asked if he would be Grand Marshal because they said when one of our members is pushed down or made to feel small, we rise them up, we bring them up. When they asked me, I didn't know what Grand Marshal was and once my mom explained it to me, I was really excited. I had my OC Pride award for being Grand Marshal. I think the bullies at school have made me stronger and a better person, and it taught me that haters are not worth the time. I was an important role in making my school the first of its kind in my district. It used to be segregated between this is a boy's dress code and this is a girl's, and I made it just one. And now I've changed that for 26 schools. I have a lot of hope when I see CJ and his generation and how accepting they are. I've always had a supportive family that always had my back no matter what. It always just makes me happy because I know that some LGBTQ people don't have that and I wish everyone had parents like I do. He really has come out stronger and we are really proud of him. Knowing that I can make a difference just feels really good to know that I can help someone else. That's why I think it's just so important to give back to the community.